I am Philippe Perrier, I am an aeronautic engineer and I have been designing airplanes for more than 40 years now and I've been specifically involved in the Rafale program. I have been also interested in, in designing boats and the first time I was involved with Marc Pajot on the French Kiss project in the America's Cup in 1987. A few time after, later, uh, I met Alain Thébault and uh, I was uh, embarked in uh, this uh, crazy project that was named was Hydropter. So I contributed to the first, very first design of the Hydropter. And this boat, which was designed uh, to, to sail at uh, 30 knots, uh, now has, has got a world speed record at more than 50 knots. This is a great achievement. And uh, my interest in this is really to do uh, some things that nobody has done before. Basically, hydrodynamics and, and uh, aerodynamics are quite the same. The main difference is the density of water, which is 800 times higher than the one of, uh, of air. But uh, when you go to high speed, uh, some differences may appear. In the air, uh, you have the speed of the sound, which is what we call the sound barrier. And this creates different phenomena that the, the, the plane is pushing his noise and his perturbation uh, in front of him. And this changes completely the way it behaves. It behaves. The speed of the sound in the water is very, very high, so no, nobody will never get it. Uh, but there is another phenomenon which, whose name is cavitation. And the cavitation is the fact that uh, at the upper side of the foil in the water, you get such low pressure that the water starts to vaporize. And when this occurs, this starts occurring uh, around 40, 45 knots. It takes more and more place uh, around 50 knots. And when you are up to 55 knots, you can consider that all the upper side of the foil is, doesn't work anymore in water, but it works in water, in vapor of water. And this changes completely the behavior uh, in, a in a way uh, which is comparable with the supersonic and subsonic uh, differences in aerodynamics. We consider that to go at more than 65 knots, we must uh, try and do it uh, with a lower speed of wind. That means that our goal is to get 80 knots with only 20 knots of wind. That means the speed of the boat is four times the speed of the wind. This has never been done before. One uh, great challenge is uh, for the foil. And to get a foil that is able to work uh, safely and efficiently at very high speed over 60, 60 say 80 knots. And for this, the first uh, studies that we have understood, we have uh, undertaken uh, on this project is to try and imagine what could be the foil. And for this, we have got the help of uh, Cabinet Moric, of Bureau Moric, uh, which was uh, sponsorized by Dassault System. And uh, they made the computation on uh, supercavitating foil sections. And this gave us confidence that it is fully possible and that uh, uh, good uh, lift to drag ratio uh, can be achieved with this kind of uh, section. I think that uh, Alain Thébault and Anders Bringdal both have already sailed on uh, say some kind of sailboats at more than 50 knots, uh, probably the best guys in the world to learn how to work with such, uh, such a boat and to take it to take uh, to get the best of it.